Hello, my name is Mark Ritchie and I serve as president of Global Minnesota. We're a 70 year old organization that started out as a welcoming committee to students coming from around the world to our universities and colleges. We've grown over the years and now we operate as a full World Affairs Council. In that period of time, of course, the world has gone through incredible changes and so has our community. We've welcomed diaspora from Africa, from Latin America, from Asia, who've joined those who've come to this part of the continent from Europe and other parts of the world. We've also changed and grown our mission, our goal now, advancing international understanding and engagement. We do this through connecting Minnesotans to the world and the world to Minnesota. One of the things that we found is that the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals have been a very effective way for us to connect to other people and their vision, their mission, their passion. In Minnesota, but around the United States, there are organizations like Global Minnesota who share this passion, but also many of the community groups, our companies, university academic centers. And so that Sustainable Development Goal number 17 partnerships is really one of the guides and one of the things that directs how we organize our work and what we choose to do and how we do it. This last year, we've been partnering with other organizations around the planet on things like World Food Day, this day, International Day of Education, and in the future, World Health Day and others. We find that it is the time with the current limits of the pandemic when virtual connecting through digital means has become a very effective tool for both reaching broader, more diverse audiences, but also sharing in a much more advanced way. In Minnesota, we have an uh, interest. How have other countries been so successful in protecting themselves and their people from this pandemic, from COVID-19? What can we learn from other countries about how they've adapted educational programs or things like truth and reconciliation? We have issues, particularly around racial justice and other social concern. So finding new ways to learn from each other globally, to share and to learn about cultures, but also um, where we are, our state happens to have the highest percent of refugees that have been welcomed here. It's something our state is very proud of. Uh, wherever you go on the planet, there are people coming and going um, from their own community, left and come back, or maybe from clear across the world. People fall in love, people pursue education, a job, a business opportunity, or come and create a new enterprise. And so um, we have this opportunity to learn and to connect. And that's one of the special things about this whole learning planet and, and the initiative to uh, bring us together on this special day. Minnesota is looking ahead. It's a very special decade in some ways. Um, we know that in 2030, we wanna reach those sustainable development goals. We have objectives around climate and reducing greenhouse gas emission, but also we are aware that there are global events like the Dubai Expo coming up next winter, Osaka holding a World Expo in 2025. The United States will celebrate a 250th anniversary and Minnesota is bidding to host a World Expo on the Sustainable Development Goals specifically number three, health, good health and well-being for all at all ages in the summer of 2027. So each of these opportunities for us to connect and learn from each other also gives us the opportunity to create long-term relationships to build our thinking, our feelings, our emotional connections and making us able to think about all of the gifts that we've inherited from those who've come before us how do we take good care of them? How do we take uh, really special care and keep those alive and well and make them better? But also how do we invest our time, our talents, our finance, our money into making sure that we're leaving the planet a better place and creating new opportunities for those generations 
really for times we shall never see. So this is a great day for celebrating together and learning, uh, but you know, it's the next day, it's the next step, it's the next chapter in moving ahead. And there's a lot of excitement in the US about new things happening. There's also a clear picture of the difficulties we still face with the pandemic and the economic impacts and the underlying disparities and injustices. So we have a lot of work to do, but today is a day for connecting, for acknowledging and for learning from each other. And we're really grateful for this opportunity. Again, my name is Mark Ritchie. I'm honored to be uh, serving as president of Global Minnesota, uh, based in the state of Minnesota in the United States. Thank you again.